Hey, friends and family. Welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And welcome to What About Wednesdays? <laughs> uh, why am I calling that? Because we didn't do Tuesday Tutorial, or Tutorial Tuesday, as I like to call it. And sometimes I might miss a Tutorial Tuesday here and there. So what better way to do another night than to start calling it a different name? <laughs> what about Wednesdays? And it is hump day again. Uh, before you know it, I'm going to have a name for every day of the week. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to uh, introduce a colorway that I'm going to be using with the Bargain Beadbox Spring Blossoms. And uh, as you can see, I have the beads that came in the beautiful box that we got this month for April. And uh, beautiful uh, light pinks, blush colors, some spring green, and some gold. And these are fabulous. I love those. Uh, so I think this palette is beautiful all by itself. But if you were of the mind to add more color, or if you wish to add more color, uh, I picked out some colors I think are really nice. Now, I will show you. Let me just reveal what I have here. Ta-da! And here is our palette. Okay. And I think what you can see here is really the biggest difference is the blues. Um, we still have green in the box, but I wanted to go a little deeper with some green and a little bit yellower with some green. So we're still staying in the family of the box, but we're just going up or down a notch. And the same thing with the pink. The pink is very pale, but we have a medium and a dark pink, which I did a fuchsia in a medium pink. And then I added some more gold, uh, findings to play around more. And then I did pull some seed beads that kind of coordinated. And later on, I think I'm going to do a necklace. These are rose quartz, little um, barrel beads that came in a box from Jesse James Beads that I have not used. So I thought they would be super pretty. So they match those perfectly. Uh, Maybe in a necklace, uh, which will be later on in the week. So this is what we're going to be playing with and I thought do some earrings tonight a couple pairs and uh so let me rearrange my board and we will get started okay everybody so I've got everything organized uh just like I have on the strip here so I'm gonna move this so I have room to work and um I thought tonight we'd make some earrings I have uh, lots of things that I added, you know, as far as um, I've got some tassels here, which I would love to use. And I think we will use these. And let's see. I also, my thought was to do a very simple, I'll show you, just a simple kind of representation of all the colors. Let's see, we want some, these are those really pretty chip beads. So I'm going to use those. And I've got some blue beads that I wanted to incorporate. I don't know, maybe we, maybe we should add the turtles. Those are cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, these little turtles, I think these came from another box from Jesse James Beads. I, I really don't remember. If I don't use something, I just put it back in my stash. So I'm thinking it came from um, our friends at Jesse James Beads, but I really, I don't recall. And then, uh, let's see. So we've got the blue, the pink. Let's do, uh, we got the fuchsia. What am I missing? Hmm. Maybe. Well, let's just do a little pop of the top, up the top of the darker pink. 
Well, the medium pink, I should say. That's more of a medium. And then I think I want to put some bead, uh, bead caps. Let's see. We'll do some pretty bead caps. And I have these little ball head pins. We're going to use those a little bit later. And let's see. Do we want to add anything else? I think that's going to do it. And I have wire here. Let's see. I got the 22 gauge craft wire and I have 20 gauge. I think I'm going to go with the 20 gauge. And uh, what I plan to do is make a loop and then... This guy will be his own section, and then we'll do a section here, and then that way uh, they'll move nicely. So I'm just going to cut, let's see, a couple pieces of my 20 gauge. And we're going to make a little loop. I'm not worried about those matching because we're going to be cutting that off probably. What did I do with my round nose? Oh, here we go. I had to stretch for that one. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to go hog wild with the uh, wrap. But I do, I made like a little one. A little one. Because the tassel's little. So it doesn't need to be, you know, super big. It'll move around just fine. And I'm going to, this guy already has a loop, so how convenient. We'll attach that. And I think I'm just going to wrap this around maybe twice if my fingers will let me I might have to use a another little I guess for leverage sake you should make that longer but Bear with me. <laughs> so I like these little grooves in this guy because it does help you when you're trying to wire wrap something that's sh short. I don't know if you guys have these Xyron. I swear by them. They really do help you in a tight spot. Pardon the pun. I just want to get that wrapped around one more time. I think next earring I will make that longer. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Let me cut the extra piece here. And let me press that down. Okay, so we have our tassel. We're going to add our little really cute turtle. I think I'm ready for summer. I'm loving the turtles and the. Uh, I'm still loving all the stuff that came in the seashells box from Dee Dee. So, <laughs> and needless to say, I, uh, I'm still enjoying sea life. So for this um, loop... I think I'm going to just do a regular loop. And I will use this piece for something else. I will not waste it. So for all of you that cringed, no worries. <laughs> all right, we're going to do a simple loop. So we, now I'm just walking it back to make a simple loop. Got a little cattywampus on me, but that's okay. All right. And then we have 
turtle and simple loop. Let me make that a little bit. Break the neck, as they say. All right, there we go. So we have this really cute component. And now we're going to attach this. So let's see. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a simple loop. But this way, I'm going to make a P. Like that. For those of you that are new to the beading world. And then I'm going to take these. I'm going to slide it right in there where they connect. And I'm going to pull it back. It's called breaking the neck. See that? Makes like a little shepherd's crook looking thing. And now we're going to open it up and we're going to attach. Just going to twist to open it. And we're going to attach our cute turtle. I think that's ceramic. It's so cute. I think I need more ceramic turtles. I used to have turtles when I was a kid. All right. So let's put on our bead caps. It's really pretty. I think this is a dyed quartz or it might be rose quartz. I have to look at the, I'll have to look at that thing from, you know, the little legend they send. And I guess my point with these is, oops, you don't need to be complicated to make a pretty pair of earrings. I like to make complicated earrings. Boy, I can't find the hole in there. That's the only thing about nugget beads. Let me see if this one's easier. You know what else? It might be too small. Hmm. I can, oh, there we go. There we go. This is also a dyed, like, quartz rondelle. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bend this back, and we're going to make another loop. Ninety degree bend, and then we just take our round nose and go backwards, they call it walking it back. For those of you that are new. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, glad to have you. I saw some new people. I got some new subscribers this week. I was very excited to see that. So welcome. And now I'm going to do a ear wire if I can. I know I pulled a bunch out. Let's see. This came, the kit came with lever back ear wires, um, and I am not going to use those tonight, but maybe in another piece of jewelry I will. I just prefer, now I did like some of the ear wires we got in the Dee Dee's box. Um, I'm just not a lever back person, but if you are, let me know. So look at that. Is that adorable? I'll give you a close up. Cute. I think that's cute. So as always, I will do the other one off camera so we have time to make more. Let me find something to put that in so I don't lose all those beads and forget what I was doing, which has happened. <laughs> I know you're surprised. <laughs> uh, 
But I love the addition of the blue and the deeper greens and, and pinks. I think it really adds a sophistication to an already very pretty color palette. Uh, some purples, some lavenders would be pretty too. If you wanted to add lavender, you could certainly do that. All right. Next, let's see what we're going to do next. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Again, I want to use some, let's do, I think, you know, spring, it's flower, flowers, right? Let's, I don't know, match those up. I love those. Maybe let's, oh, sorry, <laughs> hitting the camera. Uh, let's grab some blue. I think that's really pretty. Maybe. Uh, I think I have more of these bead caps. I do. And then maybe, you know what? Let's take some of these. Four. And then I haven't used these yet. Let's use some of these. I think I want to use the green in here. These are so pretty. Let's grab some green. All right, so I have five of the medium pink and five of the... Um, green. And what I thought I would do is take these ball headed uh, head pins and make some little dangles and then hang the dangles uh, all around here. And then to hang below this, we have these really cute leaves. And I think, didn't this come with some chain? It did. I think hanging some of the chain so that it's hanging down from the bottom uh, would be cute. Which we can use another. So let's, let me cut this. I'm thinking about that length would be cute. This is a really small chain. But I'm hoping I can wire wrap, I mean, uh, get the head pin through. If I can't, what I might do is use a small jump ring. We'll see. All right. Ooh, got a little cha-cha glitter. <laughs> I swear, I just have lots of... Lots of dachshund glitter. Okay. So we're going to add our really pretty. This is hematite. Man-made hematite is what it said in the description. And let's see if this will fit on here. Yeah. So I'm going to wire wrap this. Bear with me. Got to get my tools. All right. It's a little haphazard, but it gets the job done. Oops. Make sure your chain doesn't come off. Let me just open that a little. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to wire wrap this. This head pin seems to be a thinner gauge than 
uh, the other one that I was using. Sorry, I went off camera there for a little bit. I tend to, when I'm struggling with something, I tend to hold it towards me and then I forget I'm on camera. <laughs> so, bear with me. I'm saying that a lot tonight. Uh, if, for those of you who are new, um, we also have a Facebook page, Marcy Creates. Please join. We would love to have you. It is so fun. Great group of people in there showing their jewelry, giving each other encouragement. And I like it because I can tell you guys stuff too. Uh, and don't forget, those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, we will have a new challenge in May. And I will announce that. Uh, let's see, May 1st is Monday. So I'm going to announce that Sunday night. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a month long. And like the last challenge, you can do as much or as little as you want. So for those of you who are... Now, why did I do that? <laughs> you guys, this is what happens when I... All right, so see this? The chain should be in the loop. <laughs> Forget everything I just said. See, I don't know. Maybe I should. <laughs> what about Wednesdays? Isn't really working out too good. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I know, I'm a mess. <laughs> so let's do this correctly now. <laughs> All right. We got our leaf. We're going to make. We're going to make our loop. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Oh, I tell you. Always something. As Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana would say. Okay, now we're going to make our loop. But you know, when I mess up on camera, I leave it. You know why? Because we all do it. Okay, this is not brain surgery. Uh, you make a mistake, you learn from it. I've been making jewelry for nearly 30 years, and I still make mistakes. You just saw one. So welcome to the party. <laughs> okay, now I've got the chain on the loop. Big dummy. <laughs> oh, boy. And now we're gonna, uh, now we're gonna wire wrap, okay? That looks better anyway. That loop, the other loop I did was not so great. Okay. Oh, and I know a lot of you were expressed an interest in uh, something that I mentioned a while back called Pinterest Before Pinterest. That is going to be part of our challenge. Hint, hint, hint. It's going to be fun. I hope it'll, I hope it'll be fun for you. I think it will. And it'll also grow your jewelry making repertoire. And who I can always learn new stuff. I always do lo lo learn. Boy, I'm tang tangled. I always do learn new stuff. In fact, um, Jesse James Beads is having a a spring blossoms festival in May also, and there's going to be a bunch of classes. All right, so make that as neat or as messy as you want. <laughs> but do do put your chain on the loop, okay? And then what we need to do is do another little, um, let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to use the 22 gauge. 
I think that's going to go through the chain uh, better. It's it's narrower or smaller than the 20 gauge. So we'll use the 22 gauge. All right. Again, we're going to make a loop. I am going to wire wrap this because I don't want the chain to go anywhere. And I just find that the wire wrapping is more secure than, uh, you know, the one that I showed you where you make the P and break the neck. I mean, they're secure, but something that's fine like chain, you don't want it to slip out of any little crevice. So... Boy, you keep hitting that camera. Okay. So now I'm attaching the chain to this loop. And we're going to wire wrap that. I still be pretty if it's hanging down from the flower. Again, I'm not making too many wraps. I'm just doing a few just to get it secure. Get rid of the sticky uppy bits as if you never watch Jem Hawks. First of all, she's a gorgeous British accent. And secondly, she, she calls these little pieces the sticky uppy bits. I think that's so cute. All right, so now we have this. And now we're going to put our really pretty flower. You know what? I think so it's a little more stable. Let's add. I'm going to add one of these flower uh, spacer beads. Then we'll add this. I think that just looks better. Oops. And then we'll add bead caps. Nice pale blue. Okay. Now for this part, what I want to do is make a bunch of dangles with these and, ha and like stack them so they kind of hang or they kind of move around and then make a loop. So I am going to go off camera so you don't have to watch me make every one of these, but I'm literally going to do what I'm going to show you right now. Um, I'm going to do a wire wrap on every one of these. I just don't want you to have to sit through the tedious re repetition of making a bunch of these loops. And I'm going to make loops with every one of these. Okay. And I'm just going to wrap it around two times and, and uh, get rid of this little piece that's sticking out. So I'm going to do that with these medium pink. I've got five here and I've got five of these green rondelles that came in the box. And I will be back. Okay, so a little bit of change of plan. I wanted to just see what these look like, so I started loading them on, and I think that they need, will look better down here, underneath the flower. So literally, I just made these, you know, I just wrapped them, and now we're going to stack them. And I'm not really concerned with what order they're in. You'll see what I mean in a minute. They're going to kind of be kind of all mixed together, and I'm literally just stringing these on to the... Uh, head pin here that I made and there's 10 of these you could always do more if you want it more filled out or more fluffy um, you know more texture so now I'm going to arrange these a little bit 
But as you can see, you've got kind of some dangles here. Now I'm gonna add my flower. And then I'm gonna do with the bead caps. And maybe we'll do one more. I just thought that would look better at the bottom than at the top. You could also hang them from here. That's another option. Um, in fact, I might go back and add a few here uh, and maybe a few on the uh, ring, on the chain. But let me see how this looks and then we'll move forward. Let's see. So I wanna add another green. I like this round green. Oh, actually let's do a faceted one. That's super pretty. You could do them all the way down your chain too. That would be pretty. Um, I think I would like them better. You know, let's just do that. Sorry, this video is taking a little bit longer, but this is how you design. I mean, a lot of people like to see this and I, I don't mind showing you when I change my mind you're, you know, you're the designer. If you want to change your mind, you go right ahead. You do you. Don't you worry about nothing else. If you don't like something, you want to redo it, then you do it. So I'm going to actually attach these. So let's make another loop. I'm going to give myself plenty of room to do a good wrap. And... Like I said, you can make more of those, but this is a fun thing to do. And you can also, when you're stringing a necklace, you can make a little things like this. In fact, I think we're gonna do a necklace with this box and I'm gonna probably do a similar effect so that I have something that matches this earring. So I've opened this loop and I'm gonna add five of these in no particular order. And it's gonna get tight. Let me just warn you. But you want them to kind of stick out so it needs to be kind of tight. So that's three, four, five. Oops. So now I have five on here. So now I'm gonna add the chain And now we're gonna add more. The key is to get them all in that loop. Got two more. Okay. Grab my round nose. All right, just make sure they're all in there. And then you're gonna close your loop. And now we're going to wire wrap this. I'm just doing a couple, just like that. Let's cut off the excess. Let's get the sticky uppy bits out of the way so we don't poke anybody, including ourselves. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's add our daisy spacer, our flower, bead cap, 
blue bead, bead cap, green bead. I think that has much more balance. That looks really cute. You could make this shorter if you wanted. I like it kind of hanging. So let us add our ear wire. I did a few more wraps so it would fill in that gap. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. Whew. That took a minute, but at least... So the nice thing is, you know, once you come up with a design like this and you like it, now you can do this in all different colorways if you prefer. You can switch stuff up, especially if you have some of the same components. Um, but I think that turned out really, whoops. That's a little bit bent. Okay. I think that turned out very nice. So, we'll have to do the other one off camera, of course, just so I'm not keeping you, but I think, I think I like that one a lot. You could do more than one dangle, too. That would be cute, like three, three little dangles. Maybe you do a, another jump stone and then something else over here. Lots of possibilities. This is just one way of doing something but i love making little components like this and stacking them it adds a lot of texture and you can add more color and it just provides a nice movement in the earring as you can see so with that being said since we went a little long tonight i'm just gonna pull our two earrings out that we've made I will make, of course, the companions, and we'll do a finished jewelry update at some point. But I think those turned out really cute. Let me. How's that, guys? Cute. So do experiment with the colors. You don't need to. Just stick to what's in the box, of course. You know, find a palette you like. I'm going to post this one in our Facebook group. So if you want to use this, you can print it out for yourself. And, uh, yeah. What about Wednesday, guys? <laughs> it, was an, it was an adventure. <laughs> but, hey. Uh, you know, that's the fun of making jewelry. You you always learn something, no matter what. And uh, those of you who are new to my channel, again, thank you. Those of you who have been there with me from the beginning, I adore you. Oh, and I do want to do a shout-out to Nancy. Nancy, thank you very much for the super thanks. If you all don't know what a super thanks is, it's I think it's a heart, uh, a little icon with a heart on my YouTube channel. And you can, I guess, basically send me a tip. And so Nancy sent me one that was really sweet. It is not required. I don't expect it. But if the mood, if the mood moves you, uh, it does help with, with the channel. And, of course, it helps me as I share my expertise with you. But it's not mandatory. I would just love it if you would subscribe if you haven't. 
and hit that like if you haven't and leave me a comment. Let me know how you like these projects and uh, join the Facebook group. Show us what you're making. You can get this palette on there and you'll be hearing all about the May challenge this coming Sunday and I will probably do another video before then. So stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'll do it either Friday or uh, Thursday or Friday night. More than likely, it'll be Friday night. Uh, and if I'm terribly exhausted, probably Saturday. <laughs> but Sunday, there will be a video because I want to announce the challenge for May. So thanks again for watching. Find you some pretty colors. Play with that bargain bead box. Take care of your sweet selves and your families and be safe. And I will see you on the next video.